CataractCoach.com. More from our ASC arrest course. Two. Oh, I forgot to mention my car accident. This is a patient, second eye. First eye was a, a, a EDOF lens, very, very happy. This is the second eye. He says, hey, you know, I want the exact same EDOF lens. So I'll start off the case here. Looks pretty good, good dilation, not, you know, Beverly Hills cataract, not too bad. I can handle that one. <laughs> and so we'll make the main incision here, and I'll get the rexus done. And, you know, I just poke it with my forceps, and here comes the rexus. And you tell me, what are we going to do here? Go, go, go. I'll just, I'll keep trying, though. So what do I want to do here? Go back to the femto. Use the zepto, use forceps, plant for intercap. Maybe be smart in the cystitone, but I'm usually not that smart. What do you think? What are you going to do here? So I would have used a system. Yes. This is home. 100%. Um, and then I would really like twins, eh? Yes. Um, we look exactly <laughs> alike, too. And, and I would have started with a cystitome, and then as I started my rexus, I would have started putting tension Got it. hooks in. But if you have the so ability to do part of a rexus and put a, a cap for tension hook right. in, and, and then do more of the rexus. More ah. of the rexus and continue putting your hooks in. But um, if you have the ability to go to a femto, it might be a smart idea. Too. So even though you already have an incision in the eye. You can do that. It's not or septo. Or septo. Okay. Yeah. And it just depends what you have available. But personally, I would go to a sister. So you wouldn't just like plow ahead with the forceps? You know, I, I think you probably did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But personally, I like a good result. So, <laughs> so what are you anticipating happening in this case? So obviously, there's going to be some zonular weakness and loss, and some zonular weakness. <laughs> You're sort of heading almost 360 degrees. The the thing going for you here is how not dense the cataract is. Right. Right. If this was a four plus cataract. So you just still do it in the bag? No, I flip it out. You flip it out. Hey, hey now or. Woo, finally got but one I thing disco agreement. Dilas, disco flip it out. I love this. Like, how many times do you have to watch the zonule stress before you say, uh, oh, he got it. Apparently a few. <laughs> I got it. Look. And I'm getting the, a nice, good rexus. And actually, look, as I do the rexus, it looks pretty reasonable. It's not like this wrinkling of the cap. So it looked okay. Maybe just my forceps were dull. That's what I'm trying to convince myself. So I'll do a little hydro section. I want this thing out of the bag. And... and it's Look actually at that. It actually has some density. It is. See, don't make fun of the Beverly Hills cataracts. <laughs> so there's the two halves. Again, chop it up. I'll stay here again, Irish Plain. Me and the Irish Plain, we're good buddies. And so I'll take this thing down. Now, obviously, the nucleus removal is the easy part here, especially since it's already out of the bag. The hard part's going to be the cortex removal. What pearls do you have for me for that? Visco dissection of the cortex. That would have been very smart. <laughs> That's why I'm here. So, that's why you're here. <laughs> so, someone's got to rescue me. So a little visco dissection I think is a great idea for the, would you do, maybe do a bimanual approach or some other approach too? Or? Yeah, bimanual, I would visco dissect where I could. I mean, you, you could start just seeing what you've got. And then Coaxial? You could also put a capsular tension ring early in, but it's a tangential sweep that you have to do with the IA when you've got some. Let's see if I'm doing it right or wrong. Well, let's get that little chunk out. Because if you take tangential. That, tangential, because if you just keep pulling the center, you're going to pull zonulums. But on these, when you do a tangential sweep, then you're distributing the forces a little bit there. Oh, okay. say, oh, that looks bad. That's, that's, that's probably not good, right? Is it? I should probably let go. Uh, let go. Let go. So there's the bag equator. So did you come right out of the eye? Shh, you weren't supposed to see that. What do I do now? <laughs> Place the CTR now. Do I, do I put the CTR and the eye will now? Continue the eye or use capsule hooks? And yeah, Rose is right. Uh, if you see that, inject this go last. Don't just come out of the eye. So yeah, don't just come out of the eye. What I would have done there is I would have stayed in the eye on just irrigation or zero foot position, but to not decompress my chamber so I wouldn't get vitreous coming forward. And I would have filled that bag up with viscoelastic. But I've only done like 20 to 30,000 cataracts, I'm still learning. <laughs> and when you put the viscoelastic in, go just under the anterior capsule, so uh, you're just sending yes. the cortex out as you do that. Or you could go right on the posterior capsule and dissect it the other way. You can, but I feel that's, like it's easier to go from the front That's too gutsy for me, I do the anterior. <laughs> so are you going to play the CTR now or are you going to finish getting the cortex out? Oh no, I'd put a CTR in. CTR now. How about CTR and the lens? Probably do both. All right. So, so don't just plow ahead with the IA. No. But okay. you did. 
No. no. In fact, this time, I heard an, your voice in my head. I'm like, you know what? She'll be very mad if she sees this. So I'm going to do it the right way. Yeah. And then, and then I'd continue with IA, and I'd try to get all of that out. But if you viscodissected it out, mostly, it should just fly up and forward. And then this is where you have to do a very gentle removal of the viscoelastic. I would also say... Oh, like lower your control. flow rate? Yeah, everything. Just go slow and take a bit more time to remove it. And then make sure you don't have any vitreous there. Yeah. Got it. Yeesh. So you'd stay with triamcinolone too then after taking the cortex out? Or what would you well, do the triamcinolone? I, I would see what the people looked like. And I would see, do a wax cell sponge test to see if there's any vitreous to the wound. And maybe put in some um, carp, uh, myostat or... I'll bring the pupil down. down. Bring the pupil down. If I didn't have any issues, then I don't think you need to stain with it. Still okay to do the EDOF lens if we get the CTR in, or do you think we should do a three piece and. No, I would. How about you? I think it's going to be fine. It's only like that segment. You know, yeah. you have like, what, two clock hours, three clock hours? Yeah, a couple clock much. hours. So, I mean, I would just put the CTR in the IOL, get the viscoelastic out. I think you're going to be fine. And don't put the haptics in that area. Don't, don't put them in that area. Not if you got Does it matter if you already have a CTR in, though? CTR is 360. Yeah. Well, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the CTR and the lens now. Because I think what's happening is BSS is going through that gap in the Zonner support, and it's going in the anterior face. The bag is collapsing. So I'm worried if I don't get the lens in now, I'm not going to have a, an easy time expanding the bag. Because I'm collecting fluid now in that anterior hyaloid face, unfortunately. So the bag is shallower. So get that shallow back thing going. Here comes the CTR again. I'll try your way in the future, DP, but now I'm just doing the hook it with the Sinsky. If I, third time's a charm, there you go. And get that thing going around and toss that in the bag. That looks pretty good. And then we'll put the, I'm gonna put the lens in too. So here comes the lens. There is, a, it's a, an EDOF lens, looks like non-toric. And so we'll get that in the bag. I know someone in, in, in my YouTube video will put, put a comment like, you didn't polish the capsule enough. I'm like, I'm just trying to get out of Dodge. So I'm trying to get it with the, uh, the uh, coaxial A now, go under the lens, and I'm trying to get that stuff, and I don't know, it's kind of coming, it's kind of not. I'm like, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Can I just like leave no, it be? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sealing up the incision. I'm, look, I'm ready to go. So now what are you going to do here? Uh-oh. Extra, extra incision. You're going to do bimanual IA, I would hope. Or you are right. Side. Boom. Bimanual. So I, I, yeah, I decided, let me not leave that gunk in there and try to yag it later with a, a thousand yag spots. Well, it's not even the yag. It's the amount of inflammation that oh, the for sure. Cause, right? So, so the bimanual IA is, you're right, a huge help here. You can really clean things up pretty nicely and obviously switch hands and get that thing cleaned up pretty nicely. There's your, there's your capsule polishing. I always post those comments. So, switching hands here, getting over there, getting the last bit of it. It looks pretty clean. Patient's going to be pretty happy. I think this eye was like 20, 20 minus, so of course he was unhappy. It's Beverly Hills. <laughs> that plus the $28 parking charge always makes them mad. I don't know if you can see that little floater. That's the bad thing about the zonules is that... They let little pieces little go by. Little pieces yeah. back, and then your patients, forget the 20, 20 vision, but Doc, I have a floater. That's the big thing. So there's our friend Triumph Sinalone. Luckily, nothing did prolapse, so... Sometimes better to be lucky than good. Wexel sponge there and oh yeah. So summary on this case, what would you have done differently? Visco dissection for the cortex then? Absolutely. And you, once you had the CTR there after you visco dissected the cortex, you could have just squeegeed the cortex up off the posterior capsule. Uh. And then when you put the IOL in, Boom, it comes out so fast. So well, then the, the IOL is right up against the posterior capsule and the other right. dunks in front of it. Right. There you go. I can you have never submitted a video for cataract coach. You have such great pearls. The other thing is that Uday's way of putting in the CTR, I think it's amazing. I really like that because you have control over the leading haptic. Because if he didn't have control over that leading haptic and the way he inserted it, he was moving initially away from the zonier of the dialysis. So if you're not holding on to that, and you insert it that way, moving away from the area of zonular dialysis, you continue to pull those zonules mm. off. So if you don't feel comfortable putting a, a Sinsky in and holding on to it that way, what DB said is correct too, the way Josh Ta Teichman does it, but the way I teach it to the residents is that now flip that over and insert it towards the area. So that leading hook needs oh. to go towards the area. So this way you are putting pressure on the area of zonular dialysis 
and not only and pushing it away, pushing yes, and pushing it away. Oh, so, so less of a gap for vendors to come oh, around. That's correct. That's super smart advice. All right, let's keep moving here. Next case, there are 10 seats in the front. If you want to come, please. 